Hi, this is Gary Fong, and I'm going to show you on your Nikon system how to get your flash off camera without buying any more equipment. Now, in another video, I've uh, showed the hardware to basically put the the camera, the flash on a stand, and in this video, I'm going to show you what buttons to push to um, activate the, the the Nikon Creative System. The Nikon Creative System on this version requires a camera with a pop-up flash, one of these guys. And if you don't have the pop-up flash, then um, you have to use either a transmitter or an actual uh, Nikon flash, and that's a completely different method. But this one is probably more for the uh, beginning photographer who wants to know how to take the flash off camera without having to buy an expensive uh, radio system or something like that. Okay, so here's the menu. Uh, here's the menu functions. So now we go to the back of your Nikon, press the menu button once, and it will uh, probably start off in the playback menu or something like that, one of these. You want to go down to the one that says on the top custom shooting menu, custom setting menu. And then you're going to want to hit the right of the OK button. This thing's kind of like a little joystick. And then you'll scroll down until you get to bracketing and flash. This one's already there. So, uh, you know, so you just use this guy and push the buttons. And then we'll click one to the right. And these are my bracketing flash. Uh, choices. I want to go to flash control for built-in flash. That's the little pop-up guy here, okay? So we're going to go down right here and we're going to hit right and then your camera probably defaulted on TTL, okay? So it probably started there and what we want to do is we don't want manual because that's just full power, half power, quarter. We don't re want repeating flash, that's kind of a strobe. We want commander mode and commander mode will turn this thing into a, basically a trigger. Now the trigger can be seen in your exposure or not seen. It's completely up to you. Right now I have it on built-in flash mode but let's just go ahead and it uh, put it on the default which is where you would typically be. So built-in flash uh, was on TTL. We want to turn it off. So hit the down button twice on TC dashes. That means the built-in flash is actually off. Now it's not off, it's actually going to pop, but that pop is not part of your exposure. So let's go uh, down to group A and let's think of this as exposure group A. So we're going to tell any flash that we program to group A to be TTL, which is proper exposure. And that is probably it for any camera off flash. You just go ahead and say group A TTL. If you have a second flash and you want to change the exposure, simply go to uh, we're going to go down here to commander mode again, just turned off. Go down here uh, so that is TTL. We're going to hit the right button until we get down to the next guy. Group A, again, will be just a regular uh, properly exposed flash. If you have another uh, flash that you want to have as a separate effect and you want to change the power of the additional flash, go ahead and on group B, just go like that and then just go say down one or two or if you have a hair light, whatever you want to do or you want to experiment. The thing is, is all of the exposure control is done right here in the camera, not on the flash itself. So if I had, say, t you know, six flashes and I want them all to be proper exposure, I never need to go into group B. All I need to do is tell uh, all of the flashes to be group A and they'll all be proper TTL exposure. Okay, so uh, group B, uh, we can go, you know, minus or whatever, and that would be the exposure group B. And now let's go to channel. Channel typically for you would be defaulting a channel one. Let's just go ahead and go up to say uh, channel three or two, it doesn't matter, but we want to um, have it on a different channel because if you default at one, and the reason why there's four channels is in the unlikely scenario that there's four Nikon shooters and they're all using off-camera flash and they all choose channel one, you've got to huddle with them and say, okay guys, uh, I want you to be one, you to be two, you to be three, and that's why there's, there's different ones. Okay, so it's built-in flash is off, group A TTL, and ex let's say for example group B, I'm going to take it down one stop, as I often do for color backgrounds, even two stops for color backgrounds. And then we're going to go to channel three, and then I'm going to hit OK. So we hit the OK button. Now you'll see that it's on commander mode, and then this is ready. Once we pop up the flash to 
do nothing but trigger the flash uh, for the other as a signal for the other flash units, which is really cool. So all it's going to do is going to do a blip, not going to figure into your shot with those dashes, and it's going to just basically trigger the uh, other flashes. Now this is the SP900, and the menu is uh, just a little bit different than the 700, but it's basically the same. So let me just show you how to click through it. So we're going to go to a remote. Again, we're going to click on, and then one past it to remote. And now you'll see up here, you have your groups, A, A exposure group, B exposure group, C exposure group, and the uh, channel, the receiver channel, channel 1, 2, 3. So on this one, let's just go ahead and say that it's uh, the only uh, one we've got. So I'm going to put it into uh, group A, which it already is. Uh, so then uh, we're just going to change the channel to... Uh, channel, channel 3 I believe it was, and then just hit the OK button. So these are the navigation buttons. If you want to go left, you click one here, that's the group. If you want to go right, you click one there, and then you hit OK once you're done. And now this thing is ready to be uh, the primary flash on exposure group A. So it's really that simple. So if this was the only off-camera flash you had, then you would just basically put it on group A, like that and then channel 3 like that and then now it matches the camera. So this is the SP700 and we're going to turn this into a remote flash. Uh, so it's very simple, just uh, you're going to go hit this on switch and go one click past it to where it says remote. Like that. Okay. Now you'll see here it says remote group A and channel 1. Now I discussed earlier that uh, group A could be your regular TTL and what I mean by group I mean exposure group. So let's say we have three groups, one is regular TTL, one is minus TTL or whatever, or you don't even have to have multiple groups. But um, in this situation, let's just pretend that this is uh, flash number uh, one for the first scenario. So we're going to hit this select button a couple times until it goes to group and we'll call it A which is fine and then I spoke earlier about choosing maybe channel 2 or 3 so we'll cha choose channel 3 here and that's it now this thing is ready to go it's completely uh, ready to uh, pick up the signal from your camera or remote transmitter if this was a B flash which means that I want it to be group B and group B just means again exposure group B so in the camera I'll say all the ones that are in group B underexposed by one stop. Okay, so that's that's basically all that is. So let's just go ahead and hit select and we'll just change it to group B. We're going to remain on channel 3 because we want the camera to talk to both of them. And you'll notice here I don't have any plus or minus exposure controls and that's because the plus or minus exposure controls as you saw was inside the camera and that's how the Nikon creative system works.